Limitless Balance Vibrations and Greatness. What a world. What's going on, tribe? It is your man, Michael Overdeliver, Baptiste, bringing you another session, another episode. And I'm excited about this one, baby. Look, here's why I'm excited. Because I want to share some new developments with you. It's now Songkran here in Thailand, and it is an absolute blast. It's a fun time. Last couple of days have been absolutely fun from pool parties, you know, events out in the street, concerts everywhere. I mean, it has been great. And it's one of the benefits that, you know, comes along with being able to travel and experience life and experience different parts of the world because of having an online business that allows you to work remotely and live remotely wherever you can connect to Wi-Fi and be able to live the life you desire. So without any further ado, look, I want to tap into today's episode, baby, and I want to share some updates with you and let you know where things are at and what's happening, what's going on, what it do. So I'm super excited about what we're doing in the music world, okay, SKD. SKKD. Check our music out on SoundCloud. We got more cool things coming out. As you all know me as Michael Baptiste, my artist name. You know, I got several different nicknames that I utilize. Okay, one of the one of them being my Thai name, which is Wind Chai. One of them being Angel Michael. One of them being Mike Dre. One of them being King Clarkson. Okay, I got. I look. We got some things coming, baby. Really excited so far. Um. Just got back from Malaysia recently, and in, and in that trip, we actually produced a lot of music. We created a lot, a lot of great things, and I want to share with you one of the great things we actually created right here. So these are our collectibles, okay? So we actually are coming out with a, a card game, like a collectible card games, um, based on our Kam Kampong Dog brand, as you can see right there. Okay, we got all these different cards uh, representing the different dogs, the different characters, right? That we've uh, that we've created with it with our with the fashion brand. And so the same way we have the fashion brand, right, we also have these collectible cards where we're going to be creating a card game for people to play cards against each other like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, something really fun like that. And, um, you know, uh, this is super exciting. This brings me excitement because this is something that myself and my partners, we used to play with Pokemon. We used to play with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and um, trading cards, baseball, NBA, football, trading cards, right? But now we're actually creating our own. So super excited about this. I um, wanted to share this update with you. And for those of you who have been following along with our Kampong Dog brand and everything we got going on, okay, um, you know, one of the really cool things that happened um, while, while in Malaysia, we actually uh, established a business collaboration and partnership, okay, uh, as you, and just to show you what these look like. We actually established a business collaboration and a partnership, okay, with a, with a brand out in Malaysia called Harry Wong, okay, and with this Harry Wong brand, as you can see right there. They're actually going to be taking our merchandise. Well, they, I mean, they already got it now. Um, and they're actually distributing it, right, and, um, and promoting it to their audience of several thousands of buyers and customers in the city of Kuala Lumpur and the country of Malaysia, which is super exciting within and of itself. So I'll share this with you because this is one of the things that we're working on. This is one of the things that we're doing. This is one of the things that we are making happen, and it's happening. And we're currently working on growing this brand into a large company, which it's, you know, at, at this stage, I look at it like this, you know, I'm taking the proven principles that we use in our banana wave, banana milk project that helped that business grow to a very successful company. Now, a lot of people confuse and think that it was my business. Look, the truth is that I was a, I was one of the co-founders and I was helping that business grow, right? And in, in exchange for helping that business grow, I received equity ownership in that business on top of being paid as a consultant. With that business but that business sold like i'm no longer involved in that business just for clarity's purpose and clarity's sake and what i've been doing actually is i've been actually been helping clients more, in a more hands-on fashion where i help them develop their products develop their websites develop their sales funnels build out their virtual sales letters and webinars things like that um, automate their sales funnels automate their email marketing build and develop ai chatbots for them uh, develop different ai tools to help their business okay and offer these to my clients after that success with Banana Wave and people seeing that success, that's what I've been doing to help more people along the way. And one of the things I want you to know is that, look, the way that I started was with online marketing. Banana Wave is not how I got my start. Banana Wave was like my claim to fame, right? Like one of the things that made me um, well known in the space. But I was really utilizing my skills that I developed from the very beginning to help that client, right? And so now that I've helped them to create success and build a company and scale it to well over eight figures, guess what? We're doing the same thing right now with the Kampong Dog. So this is another brand, totally, totally independent, okay, and separate. It's a, it involves fashion, collectibles, uh, uh, you know, fun things of that nature, right? And um, 
household items you know on top of that we got some really cool stuff coming out for pets real soon so that'll be that's that's coming in the future but the, the whole reason i share this with you so that way you can understand more about who i am you know and the fact that look i help people right banana wave that was a group of people that i helped Campong doll this is my business partner maurice ager former nba star former nba player that i'm currently helping okay so this is what I do. I actually help people. And you can now see this. You can follow along this journey because we're documenting the journey to success with this brand where we just started it from just ideas. OK, and we're getting ready to take it and scale it out all over the world internationally, baby. And uh, we have a great team that we're working with. And because of that great team, I'm, I'm super confident to share and document this process because I know with my with my resources, my strategies blueprint but on top of that my team their network their resources their ideas their their genius their experience i mean it's i'm documenting the process because i know where this is going i know where i know where this baby's going so i wanted to come and share this with you okay and the other thing i wanted to come and share is this right i have been doing a lot of i have been taking a lot of my time and i've been i've been doing a lot more studying with my time the reason being is because I believe that one should always keep their iron sharp. One should always keep their sword sharp, right? One should always keep their mind sharp. So in the process of keeping my mind sharp, I have been doing continuous studies. Now, one of the things I've been studying that has actually led me to a very interesting point that I wanted to share and talk about today is uh, universal laws. I've been studying universal laws and I've actually been working on implementing and practicing universal laws every single day. I'm not perfect because there's there's well over 40 universal laws. Most people don't know that. Most people think there may be only seven or 12 or things like that, but there's actually over 40 different universal laws. And if you respect those laws, know them and practice them, then you have a better life experience. But if you transgress or cross or go against those universal laws, your life experience is gonna be a little bit different, okay? So one of the universal laws that I've really been studying and tapping into is the first universal law or the law of hermeticism or, or uh, you know, whatever, whatever school of, of thought you want to study. But it's, it's the, the concept that the mind is all the universe is mental, right? Mind is all all is mind. You know what I mean? And, and basically, like the mind is all right. So with this information, I've been studying it. And I've been di just diving deeper to understand, understand, overstand all the forms of standing on this principle of all is mind, mind is all. OK, and one of the interesting things that I've come about is the uh, the fact that within your mind, OK, you can literally create experiences where you're happy, you're in joy, you're in love, you're you're in bliss, you're you're in, you're in just gratitude for your life. Right. And you can be sitting there and, and in the in the very next moment, somebody can say something or you might see a comment on the Internet or somebody texts you some bad news, whatever it is, something negative comes into your field, into your mind. Right. And in your mind, you literally switch from happy, joy, thought.